Alright, in this tutorial I will be showing how to correctly set up a diffuse with uh, Specular and Alpha. Um, let me just start up Sandbox real quick. Oh, it's back there when I need it. Okay, first you're going to open a data set. For me it's going to be these three. Well, actually that's already a TIFF. Never mind. Okay, we're going to pick up these three, which are these are all JPEGs. Okay. All right. Here's our data set. Uh, for this texture, I will be saving as a TIFF. I've already done all the work I need to on it, so I'm going to save as a cry TIFF. Notice I already have them here because I've already done the work on this. So let me go ahead and uh, get a new folder for that. All right. So I'm going to save in cry TIFF. Okay, you see how this has a diffuse with alpha right here? Not the alpha test, but the diffuse with alpha high quality. You're going to select that in a negative one resolution for terrain. So what this will do is this will, uh, you know, the closer you get to it, it will uh, make the quality higher. Okay, now, yes, I already know. In order to do this, you go... Normally you're on the layers channel with the background. You'll go over to channel. You will hit the button here that creates an alpha channel. You'll go over to your displacement, or in this case, it, it's actually a specular map. <coughs> You'll paste it in the alpha channel. Note that your colors will be messed up. That's fine. Turn off the visualize. All right. Now we're going to save it for real. Same settings as I said before. Diffuse alpha with high quality, negative one resolution. Okay. Ta-da!